Brian Pearson, Managing Editor of the Tyler Morning Telegraph. It's Christine Gardner, our award-winning food editor. And uh, you gave me an assignment. I did. I okay. texted you last night and I told you to go through your kitchen drawers and find your most useful kitchen tools. Okay. What are your favorite things you have to cook with? All right. We'll start with this one. Now, what would you think I use this for? I don't, I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you can use it for two different things. Um, uh -huh. I have put vegetables in there. Okay. But mainly, I cook fish in here. Oh, for like a whole fish. Right. Because yeah. if you stick it on the grill, It'll especially stick. like the skin side down, uh -huh. you're going to, it's going to stick there. So this way yeah. you can pry it off of there. And plus, after it's done, I give it to the dog and they clean all that skin the off of there. Dog so. Likes it does. It's gone in seconds. So I'll we got have that. to get one of those. <laughs> and this is for flipping burgers. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. it has this handy thing for opening cold, tasty beverages. Oh, wow. And it's also good Isn't for... Isn't that uh, clever? Uh, it's my new uh, tool in, in managing uh, sub insubordinate uh, food editors. So, uh, better got watch that. out. So How then, did I know you were going to bring all grilling tools? Yeah, well, yeah. then we have another one. Okay. So, and you got to have some distance between here and there if you got a hot fire going. Oh, get a little burnt. That's okay. You can have shorter tongs. <laughs> okay, you can see I've used these. I mean, they're they're very yeah. well Those look a little dangerous. Then, um, then I have this. And can you imagine what I use that for? I have no idea what you use It's that a headlamp. For. And so what I use this for <laughs> if I'm outdoor grilling then I can turn this on and look to see and if still the, see. the chicken is done or the beef yeah. is done or, mm -hmm. or whatever. So Well, actually, uh, there there's a special light that you can attach to the hood of the grill that I've seen that I bought for my dad last Christmas, and it's his favorite thing he's gotten ever. I'll keep ever. that in mind. So maybe I'll order one for you. Okay. And see, with this, yeah. you have it on your head that that way you can hold the... Yeah. You know, it's pretty handy. <laughs> and uh, last but not least... This was recommended to me by my uh, lovely girlfriend, Beth, who has like a case of these things. I and know. because oh, I know of what the she uses those volume of children involved in mm -hmm. the household, um, there's like millions of open bags. And yeah. Stuff. I guess we put no, that's that a great it. idea. I use clothespins. Okay. But I should get, grab some binder clips. They, they, yeah. work, they work great. Mm -hmm. Now, you have yours here, except you brought yours in photographic yeah, form. Yeah, well, so you'll see in the food section the ones that I picked. And what I'm doing, this is a two-part column. This week I'm talking about the most useful tools that we love to cook with, which may be really useful for you, but not so much for somebody else, like like what a, Brian's Like brought. an award-winning <laughs> chef says it yourself. No, I mean, I've got some pretty simple things. And then next week, we're going to talk about the most useless things you have in your kitchen drawers, like those silly that gadgets me. that you, you bought, and you're like, why did I buy this? You know, I've got like three different things that peel garlic, okay. and I never use it. So I'm, I'm asking everyone to go through your drawers and find what are your favorites and what are your least favorites, and we're going to have a little fun with that. Okay, now there's something on here I don't know. It, it, what is that? Thing okay, in the show? so so what I have are I picked I think ten favorites. This is a mandolin. It's for slicing things really thin. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to do an au gratin potatoes, or um, you can use it on, with cheese and just a, a lot of different things. And I kind of when I when I pick things out, I thought, well, I need to be able to use these things for at least three or four different jobs. So I picked things that I knew I used often for several different reasons. Okay. So and the meat, the, the, meat thermometer. I almost brought meat mine. Meat thermometer. That's yeah. one of my big ones. And then also, of course, top of the list is the chef's knife. Okay. And then I, I have like dozens of wooden spoons, and I always use this one because it's it's um, got this slanted edge here. It's really great for scraping things and up. What's in the this of thing the pan. with the? Is this attached? This wood thing with the yes. basket? Yes. So that is a. They call that a spider, yeah. and it, it was originally. I mean, I think it's like for Asian cooking, but I've seen a lot of people use it. Like if you're frying something and you're trying to get out, get out everything out of the fryer really mm -hmm. quickly. Otherwise, if you take one French fry out at a time with your tongs, you're going to have half burnt fries. Yeah, that wouldn't be cool. So with this, you can just scoop everything out if you don't have a deep fryer and all the oil drips down. Now this is an unusual looking spatula. This is a fish, sp fish spatula. Say that a, three a times really fast. A, a spatula. <laughs> 
And it's it's great because if something's sticking on the grill or in, in, a, in a saute pan, like if you're doing eggs, you can get down underneath it really mm -hmm. well, and it's flexible, and it's easy to flip things without making a mess. Okay. So, so I use that for way more than just fish. And a uh, couple things to note. Um, Yes. We have Grilled Cheese Day tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is National Grilled Cheese Day, my favorite sandwich. Do you so. know who invented it? No, I okay. don't, but whoever did, I like them a lot. They're awesome. <laughs> Do you have a special professionally trained way of making grilled no, cheese No, I mean, I just, I just like maybe combining a couple of different cheeses and maybe putting a tomato slice in the middle. Oh, that sounds That's pretty always good. good. Okay, mm -hmm. and what else is on the food page tomorrow? So on the front page, the feature is about asparagus. Okay. So you, springtime, it's the perennial vegetable, and it's just really good this time of year. I've actually grilled asparagus. Asparagus mm -hmm. on the grill is very nice. I have mm -hmm. roasted asparagus, grilled asparagus, um, asparagus soup. I meant to bring you some, but I kind of forgot. That's okay. You would have liked it, though. I'm, I know I would have. <laughs> okay. And asparagus pizza. You ever put it on no, a pizza? No, I, I, I probably have, but yeah, I that's Yeah, it's another good way to enjoy it. Okay, anything else? So that's about it. All right, mm -hmm. guess we're done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pick up the paper.